So uh, let me pull up my list of ships here. The last time we played, we got our win on the Mantis B, which was really strong. With some really nice uh, four-man Mantis boarding going on. So let's see. On this streak, we've done Betsy, NGA, NGC, Mantis B, Roxy, Zoltan A, Zoltan B, Stealth B, Crystal A, Lanius B. So we got 10 ships in so far. So let's random a ship, see what it is today, and see if we can get a win in today. You know, if we die, I'll probably still rage, but I need to remember this has been a good streak. So no need to tilt and get all ragey if we lose. Still do our best, but let's uh, let's keep keep positivity out there, right, everybody? Got to keep that positivity. So random ship in three, two, one, and random. The Zoltan B. Uh, we have done the Zoltan B. Okay, three, two, one, and random. The NGB. Here we go, my friends. It is time for Forever Alone. Ooh, this is another one of the worst ships. This this has some big susceptibilities early. Uh, keep it alive or die trying. That's right. You missed the past week. Cut up on YouTube. Nice to you all. What's up, Lurchin? So, okay. Um... Let's see, I think I actually have some somebody who did want to be crew. I'm going to actually, this is a, a YouTube viewer asked to be any crew. So, uh, Spax, who is Dave Hertz over on, I think it's Dave Hertz, over on uh, YouTube. You will be the pilot of the Forever Alone NGB ship. Mistake not, thank you for the 200 bits. Forever Alone, let's go. <laughs> What's up, Shogi? You hate FTL, you dig the micro SIM card ship. <laughs> Great for runs and throwing pictures of family outings. What's up, Shogi? What's up, man? That's right, the uh, SD card ship. So, for those who are not familiar, the reason this ship is so challenging is... You, uh... The weapons are bad. Heavy laser is great, but heavy ion is terrible. And, uh, having only a single crew is very sketchy early, or, early on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on anti-personnel. So I'm going to depower and turn on a system repair drone. This is to deal with boarding. This is to deal with, you know, repairs so we can keep our pilot here. Uh, I don't know if there's any, like, special things we can do to help this ship. One of the worst parts about this ship is heavy ion. You have to hit both shots to do any damage. Oh, my gosh. Mr. Shogi just gifted five subs. Thank you, sir. Welcome or welcome back to everybody who just got the gifted a sub from one of the most generous people I know. Thank you, man. That's super nice. Alright, so we have a missile heavy ion. I mean, in a regular ion. Oh, man. I, I should probably take this fight. Auto fire. Uh, one thing I do need to remember, if heavy ion does hit, we can get two heavy laser shots. Hit, so, good freaking dodges to start, though. Beautiful. Okay, wow, a zero damage first fight. That's kind of amazing, honestly. Yeah, YouTube viewer already uh, is the pilot. Sorry, uh, in and lurching and stuff. Double reward? Holy crap, that's an amazing first reward. Holy shnikes, that was a double reward with a combat drone that sells for like, what is that, 30, 40, 50 scrap? Holy crap, that's an amazing start. Okay. Well, if we can find a store now, we could maybe get weapons that aren't terrible. Um, I should probably still get second shield on this ship first, even though this ship needs weapons really bad. You're ba back to bless the run if we're on a streak. We are still on a streak, yes. I like to immediately deploy the crew drones. Yes. Yes. I do because... Um, if I get boarded in the drone control by a single person, if I put on put up just my system repair drone, then that drone usually dies to that single boarder. So I like to put up the anti-personnel drone so he's in position to tank, and then depower him and turn on the system repair drone so he's ready to go repair right after. So... I think I should still get shield value point here. I'm gonna do that. I think second shield is too important. Right. How long has it been since we've had a streak this high? Uh, months. Here we go. 
you on doors. Ah, wow, that's four crew. Okay. Well, they insta kill my drones. That's not cool. Um, this is pretty bad. All right, we vent the rest of the ship. Our anti personnel drone comes back online. Okay, do we deal with it? All right, we use a lot of drone parts, but I think we're good. Ugh, that was ugh, free freaking humans. Hate free freaking humans. All right, we're fine. We're fine. Well, I did, that just cost us like three drone parts. It killed two. I got to replace the anti personnel. Now I get one back up for system repair drone. That was scary. Yep, yeah, that's what this ship is susceptible to, man. That is the big. Uh, one of the big major dangers of this ship is frickin' boarding, man. But we're fine, we're fine. Alright. One of my passing, eh? That. Okay. Good. Good, 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 good. All right, so far, the two fights we've had, we've hit the first shot both times. The first two shots, which is really important on this ship. If he dodges, he might get out now. He might get out if he dodges his next shot. Oh, God. Yeah, he's out. We're in a nebula, though, so we only lose half a jump. It's not the end of the world. It's annoying, but you know what? I'll take it. Fine. I didn't take damage. Well, we took one damage. All right, store. That was what I was worried about, that I'd see a store after getting the value point in shields, but not actually upgrading my shield, so... You forgot how few drone parts this ship starts with? Can't even make proper use of the combat 2 drone? Yeah, not really. What's up, Cruel Angel? That would have been my record earliest run loss as well. If I died to the free human borders? Yeah. No weapons. Uh, can even be the pilot? <laughs> this is already a person from YouTube that is the pilot. Sorry, we do not have any positions open. Uh, this is a YouTube name, so... Yeah, this is one of the harder ships. Um, can I actually get hacking right now? I only have two drone parts, but 37 plus 15 is 52 plus 5 is 57, 57 plus 25 is 77, 82. I think if I sell these three things, I get hacking. That's probably worth Sure, Julian Verse, sure. Just remind me when it happens, because I'm just not going to keep track of that. I, I, We should probably get hacking, right? I could just get shield right now. I only have two drone parts for the hacking. Seems like a big investment for hacking when I kind of need a weapon. Although hacking... Oh, hacking can kind of help. Ah. <sighs> I actually kind of should have gone through one more nebula, but oh well. Yeah, I think we just always buy hacking. Oof. Okay, let's see here. Fail them. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to let the ion through and hope it doesn't hit our shields. Okay, good. Beautiful. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. That's why our heavy laser's in our first position. Perfect. Oh, 
that's a shield burning down. That's great. Okay. Um, okay. Satisfying hold breach sound, yeah. Got 15 scrap. Still need 30 per second shield. Uh, let's see, I have 6, 5. So I don't have an efficient way to get back there, yeah. If there's a store over there. Actually, I know there's not a store over there, okay. Alright. I'm a little unsure on this ship. If I should get second shield before trying to find a weapon, I feel like I should get second shield on this ship. Now, it's impossible to get bored of FTL soundtrack. It's the best soundtrack ever, Hugser. That's double heavy laser. Mmm. Double heavy laser. Do I avoid this fight? Do I fight it but hack his weapons? I feel like I have to take fights. This is not the worst. Uh, scouting a refueling outpost. Scout attacking. This is a double reward, right? I think this is a double reward. Maybe a secondary reward of extra fuel. Um, so if I were to hack him, would I hack his weapons? That's relying on our first volley to hit. Oh, man. When you don't have Zoltan Shield or a Cloak, second shield can never be too fast. Outpost just means outpost. Okay, so it is an outpost. Plug B is... Definitely hard, Zuma, yes. I don't know what you're talking about. Alright, I'm gonna... Oh god, don't hit, don't double hit me and hit my weapons, please. I'm gonna hack his piloting. Oh god, this could be really bad. If he hits my weapons, this is gonna be really bad. Alright, hit my shields. But it's fine, it's fine. It's the only damage we take. Alright. As long as he didn't hit our weapons, we were kind of fine there with being able to hack him. Uh, your bet is that the streak goes well till Zoltan C and Zoltan C will be the end. Okay. Double reward? Okay, alright. That was definitely worth. No stores, get the shield. Um, alright, and we got. Oh, we got two drone parts back from that. That's very good. Very good. Well played. Thank you, Bilbo. Double heavy laser is OP. Heavy laser flak is even worse. Yes. Seems like a reasonable NGB start. Reason I mean, we're not dead. <laughs> it's a little early to say, but, you know. Uh, how many jumps do we have? Five, four, three, two. So I can go that way. Five. All right, let's go this way and see if we see a store. Hacking already, interesting start. Yeah, Britnoth, I, uh... First store I went to didn't have any weapons, but I'd gotten a free Combat 2 drone, so we was selling that one drone and the drone reactor booster. I could barely afford hacking, so I thought, okay, that's probably the right play. Store, okay, store. Not really weapons I can use. I'd love some long range scanners, but ugh, I hate it when it gives me a store and I have no scrap. Now I don't want a store because we have this basically an empty jump. Man. Fields 4 and hacking before end of sector 1 is good. Okay. Okay. This guy can't damage us with second shield. Beautiful. Okay. Um, do I try to get some dodge training here? Is it worth dodge training when all you have is a single pilot to dodge? With, with level one engines, it really doesn't feel worth. All right, Simeath, please don't insult people by saying they're inexperienced and things, so let's keep it positive around here, please. You love Zoltan C? It's so fun. Okay. <laughs> Zoltan C is, is interesting. 
That's, I mean, I can understand people saying that. It's like saying Stealth B is fun. Mm, yeah, it's got a glade beam. That's fun to some people, I guess. I would call it interesting more than I'd call it fun. My pilot's gonna be buff. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how buff. Okay, this is the one ship in the game where we probably do take free crew, right? You're still recovering from your resultancy run? 100% dodge and the pilot likely moved another person seems not worth it. Okay. We know that this is a high reward, right? If I turn this down, it's what? 15 to 25 scrap? I think we have to take this. 20 to 22. Alright, I think the Forever Alone ship is the one ship that if you do get offered good crew, you'd reject it, Sleeping Dragon? Really? Yeah, I know the, the crew is worth a lot of scrap mistake not, but this ship really needs a weapon pretty quickly. I will say because I have hacking Sleeping Dragon that I feel like I could survive a little bit longer. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take it. put my NG on. I'm actually going to save him on engines. But I'm going to have him hang out on doors. For the boarding events. You have a lot of fun watching me play the hardship, sing, overcome the challenge, turn around, runs as a blast. Thanks you, Okamon. I'm glad. I'm glad you enjoy it. The second crew, we can sell system repair drone for a weapon, potentially, too. I mean, it's what, 15 scrap we can get for that? You'd be tempted to eye on their O2 and go for the crew kill on that ship. That's interesting. Uh, runner K, he's got hacking. Shields. Could be only level one hacking, right? Okay, since he's running, we have to do this. Fucking hell. God damn it! All right, we're not negative though. We're totally not negative around here. Jesus. Goddamn small. Um. Stop them. From oh, oh. He's. Oh, I hacked. L. Ah, oh, you stupid, stupid effing game, man. Goddamn small bomb into my weapons. Yeah, that cost me a jump. That cost me a jump, which could be really huge. Ah, oh, frickin' small bomb into my goddamn weapons while running away bullshit. Alright, alright. We're not, we're not negative, though. The shield hack didn't cost us anything. Not the shield hack that was the issue, it was the frickin' small bomb, man. Oh, that's like worst choices right there. Mantis and Zoltan are probably two of the worst I could have thought of. I'm gonna be the Rockman pilot. Yes, thank you for reminding me. You know what, I honestly probably go Zoltan here, right? Like... If there's one thing these two weapons do well, it is get through Zoltan's shield. Mantis boarding, I just don't think I can handle. More stores, yeah. Mantis is only a single boarder at least. Uh, not from a, not from boarding events. You can have the your entire world turns red free boarding event, and that can be at least two Mantis, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wow, you're right. Not a single nebula. We have AP drone for Mantis. <sighs> we have AP drone for Zoltan, uh Border Police. So there's three borders on either place. The question is, what am I more afraid of? Mantis borders or Zoltan borders? I think I'm more afraid of Mantis borders, to be honest. I'm going to go Zoltan here. How? How is Zoltan worse than Mantis when it comes to boarding in this situation? 
Can Zoltan border police in Sector 2 have five free Zoltans? Can it? I don't know. I don't know what it can have. The max number per sector. If I'm venting, I feel like venting is more effective versus the Zoltans. We're about to find out how well we can handle the Zoltan borders, I guess. They're in my O2, okay. In my end. Survive. Oh, well, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, this hits, I won't use hacking. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Alright, we survived the Zoltan Border Police. We did it. Oh, and I was too late on that shot. Uh, is there ever a crew kill here? Do I have sensors? I don't have sensors. About a, what about an O2 crew kill? Yeah, that's breached. Uh, minimum 24 seconds of deal damage if you land all four shots, but all four hit. Yep. That was good for us. Definitely good. Probably have you on weapons here. I'm waiting this out because I think we might actually have a chance at the crew kill here. You think they stopped repairing weapons? You think crew kill is on? I don't... I think they're repairing O2 and there's a breach in there, so I feel like maybe they're low health. Max over here getting all the training. Yeah, they're not fixing it. I think we're good. Um, well, since I only have a single shield, I will do this. Got him. Nice. All right. All the fuel scrap we can manage. Okay. Hopefully we just dealt with the hardest event in this sector. I think, I think that should be the hardest event in this sector, but you know, there could still be, honestly, the other issue with Zeltan sectors is like NG sectors. Sometimes it feels like you fight more Mantis ships than you fight NG's or Zoltan's. So we could still have Mantis boarding, I think, in this sector. All right, I just didn't have power for special escalating. That's why I didn't do it. But you, all right, I could have turned off my second shield to uh, have this guy healing earlier. And I know everything went better than I expected. All right, we can look and see. Okay, we don't see our store yet. I'm waiting. We need to wait for our anti personnel drone to be full health because if we get it like free mantis borders, we're going to want him full health. Something red looms. Event is mass mantis sector only though. Yeah, I know, but there's still Mantis border ships in this sector. Uh, there are there are many times when I go to Zoltan sectors and I feel like I'm getting boarded by Mantis bombers more than I'm fighting Zoltan ships. Mantis pirates, I'm pretty sure, are, are uh, spawnable or whatever in in Zoltan sectors. Yeah, I, I know the I know the Mantis something red looms is is Mantis only, but. There's still, there's still definitely Mantis potential ships in this sector, I think. Yeah, we, we wouldn't have bombers, that's true. We wouldn't have bombers. That would be Sector 4. Okay. Basically, we're still just looking for a weapon to replace this heavy ion. Okay. The jump is empty. Store... Alright, we do have system repair drone to sell. I still am going to take one more jump before the solar. I'm going to go one, two, three. Stuff our Gina does. Oh. 
I don't think I take that deal, do I? Drum part is eight, fuel is three. So it is 21. It's probably a good deal, but I kind of feel like I'm going to need my drone parts. Man, that is a lot of fuel, though. I'm going to be at two drone parts. I don't really like taking that deal, but it seems just too good to pass up. I am going to need the fuel, most likely, yes. Weapons? That's two stores with no weapons. I could buy my defense drone for missile defense, though. God, I want to, but I think I have to save my scrap for second store or for a weapon, right? Zolden Shield probably stops hacking a lot anyway, you think? So, my thought is I either get defense drone or do nothing here. Maybe backup battery. We only have room for one more system, so cloaking is ideal, but we'd take mind control. Although mind control on this ship. Well, if I if I still only had one crew, it would be even more enticing, but... I think, I think we're just kind of desperate for a weapon right now. I think I have to skip. You think my offense is too weak to delay? I kind of agree. I kind of think that I have to find a weapon this sector before next sector, or else we're in big trouble. Immediate missile when I turn down the defense drone. What surprise. Okay, well. We'll have hacking available if we need it. Okay, we're through at least. Can hit my weapons. Holy shnikes, that's a double fire. Missile down. Good dodge. Beautiful. All right, uh, another potential crew kill. He has a heal bay. I don't know about this one. Maybe if I hack this heal bay, I really don't want to use a hacking drone. A hacking a drone part, though. I on the heel bay. I'm not doing any of that. He, with his missile back on, I'm just not even gonna mess with it. Yeah, we got a drone part back. That's nice. Yeah, he also he had shields. He had heel bay. He had a missile. I, I don't think a crew kill is worth taking extra damage for there. Just get a free Vulcan game so easy. Oh, that would be nice. I'd love a free Vulcan right now. Not to use, to sell, to get something else. Free FTL jammer? Sure. We've already had two dudes run from us, so... Alright, I have to go through double nebulas to get an extra jump. I think... Now, one thing I will say is if I go to nebula, that lets us get this if it's a store. Alright, I guess I'm going to go to one nebula to see if that's a store. If I get half power nebula... I want that, but I need to not do that. Half power nebula would be hurtful. Hurtful, I say. Half power. This guy can't damage us. Yeah, <laughs> this guy has the same build we do. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of funny. I'd say this guy's build is terrible. Dude, he's got your same build. I know, and it's terrible. We should like hang out at bars and stuff and talk about how crappy our build is. It's the Spider Man pointing meme battle. <laughs> you know you, know you, you, you. <laughs> That's right. Uh. All right, I think I should get some training here.
Uh, I did hit mind control. I don't know if we breached, though. We can at least try to get a little training. Um, AU Rand, where you bought MC instead of hacking. Oh, alternate universe. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah. It didn't breach? Okay. Have I talked about how the ladies' tea gig went? Uh, no, I haven't. Y'all want to hear about it? Sure. Um... Uh, although this 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 training is not going to work with mind control, so hopefully we'll get another chance to train and I can tell you more. Free weapon, baby! Oh, that is so good. Oh my god, we don't even need a store for a weapon now. That is so stinking good. Could keep mind control down by popping shield with heavy laser and ironing mind control. Uh, potentially, that's that's. That's assuming he dodges nothing and his and, and his piloting was back up. So I didn't want to chance it. All right, there we go. Now we. Oh man, that is just so stinking good. A little slow, but it's absolutely amazing. I'll talk about my gig uh, when we actually get a better training ship. Attack is broke. Deadly is not this guy. I'm going to hack your piloting. Guarantee we get your missile offline. Got to move my guy to call it. Wow, he got that second missile off in time. That sucks. All right. This is a combat drone. This would actually be a uh, training fight. Got the beam drone, I think. What are my thoughts on Fallen Order after playing it a bit now? It's super fun. Um, I feel like combat-wise, it's not as good as like Arkham Asylum Batman games or the Spider-Man game we played. And open world and build choice-wise, it's not as good as Elden Ring. But it does have... Okay. I thought his weapons were breached. It does have a lot of good stuff going for it. The animations are really cool. The fighting is fun. Uh, it seems like blocking and parrying is more important in this game than like Elden Ring. So uh, I'm, I'm very much enjoying it so far. One, two. So do I want the store now? Sell heavy ion, sell FTL jammer. Yes, I would. One, two, three, four. So we skip the distress. It has its IP, yes. Ah, uh, oh, damn. I was hoping that was a basic laser. I keep forgetting to move my crew, man. Okay, okay. I am not going to hack shields. Oh, okay. Being very... It's nice. That is breached. Okay. Being very greedy with my drone parts. So I don't know very greedy, but semi-greedy. You still got cloaking on the ship or just mind control since you can't get a Steve drone? Um, my first choice would still be cloaking. My first choice would still be cloaking because of um, just how good cloaking is. Um, since we have crew to help with board, uh, anti-boarding, my control seems a little less, you know, like, required to survive these early sectors, but, like, if I'd seen one or two stores, hadn't found any weapons, or hadn't found any crew, I might consider my control to, like, protect me from boarding death. Poking is more than just evading missiles, yeah. What do we got here? Sensors, backup battery, my control, crew... Still no weapons. Okay. I would consider keeping the heavy eye on. I think I get backup battery here. You're potentially going to be buying drone parts. It's cheaper to take one or two damage than using a drone part, you think? Yeah, yeah it's true. Cost-wise, that is cheaper. Um... I don't think we ever actually use the heavy ion. What if I keep it on my bar for the ion blue option? Isn't the ion blue option also an NG blue option? Maybe. 
Um, let's get the battery. So the ion blue option is the same as the NG blue option. Okay. Then I guess the other question is, do I want to keep it on on board to get those ultimate shields faster? Um. Is there another store over here? There's not. Okay. What about buying sensors? Actually, if we want stores to have systems, we want to have no sensors, right? What was it that Mike Copley said? If you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. If you have less than 11 systems, you're more likely to find systems in stores. Do we want to still find systems in stores? Or do I want to just, like, get mind control and be done? I thought he said as if you had less than 11. So, like, what I have is 10, then I'm more likely to get systems. How did the singing go? Wow, you all are curious. I, I will tell you all later. I'm. Let me Let me focus on the game right now. Let's get to a training ship before I do that. Big sector sensors is sector seven hacking bait purchase in your opinion. Okay. Sub Nietzsche. All right. What about crew? I'm thinking about crew. I think I think I think I still wait. Nietzsche, thank you for the tier three sub and forty one months in a row, my friend. That is awesome. All right, let's do some training. Uh, not a great training ship, but we are immune to damage. Uh, it's the threshold. There's no math to support it. If it's truly more likely to find cloaking your systems with 10. Okay, I don't know. Your position. Wait, what? All right. So while we're training, uh, a couple people have asked how my gig went. So uh, the reason I didn't stream on Wednesday was because I sang at a ladies' tea party which was interesting. Uh, a friend of mine is a, a, a tenor friend of mine. His day job is like a bank, like JP Morgan Chase or something. And this was like a thank you party for their employees. And they put it on at a ladies tea. So basically me and four of my singer friends went to this place north of us that's like a tea house, which I didn't know existed in Texas, but there apparently is one in the Dallas area. And um, all the ladies were sitting down and having tea. My tenor friend introduced us and said, happy, what is it? It's pa St. Patrick's Day, I guess. And so we sang about, it's only supposed to be about 30 minutes. Apparently the songs I chose were a little bit longer than I expected. So it was more like 45 to 50 min minutes of music. But it was a lot of fun. Uh, we sang uh, like Ring of Fire and The Sound of Silence and... Uh, deep in the heart of Texas, and uh, John Lennon's Imagine. These are all like acapella five-part arrangements that were like similar to pentatonics and that kind of thing. Over the Rainbow, Can't Help Falling in Love. And um, it went really well. My, my tenor friend who listened to us said we sounded great, and he said he was particularly impressed because he didn't realize I know how to beatbox. So he was like, I was very impressed by your beatbox. And I was like, thank you. I'm sure I'm an amateur, but I appreciate that. So, uh, a tea house isn't even normal in the UK, huh? <laughs> oh, wait, no. You're saying it's it ain't evening in the UK. Okay. Ring of Fire is a classic. Get, gets the people going. That's right. Uh, so I'll tell you our set list. Our set list was... Uh, wise men say only fools rush and can't help falling in love by... Um, Elvis Presley, then we did Ring of Fire, then we did Jolene by Dolly Parton, then we sang Tie Yellow Ribbon Around the Old Oak Tree, uh, Light in the Hallway, which is a Pentatonix original, kind of really pretty ballad. We sang uh, then Sound of Silence, which is a Pentatonix cover of the Disturbed cover of the Simon and Garfunkel song. Then we sang, what did we sing after that? I think we sang Over the Rainbow, you know, Judy Garland, that's a uh, pentatonics arrangement. Then we sang Imagine by John Lennon, which is a pentatonics arrangement. arrangement. Uh, I feel like I missed one. Uh, I forget what it was. But our finale was Deep in the Heart of Texas, which is an arrangement that I wrote that's pretty goofy and ridiculous, but it's fun. 
Um, did I get some free tea? Well, I don't like tea, but the tea they had was a some, the lady described it, it was an Earl Grey tea with hints of rose hips or floral hints with some flower taste in it. I don't know. I had a brownie at the end of it because they had little display things of like, you know, treats and brownies and little finger sandwiches and stuff. So I had a brownie afterwards. It was really nice. <laughs> Hell of a set list. It's awesome. Thank you. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, I'm hoping we'll get to do something similar at another time because uh, my friend, uh, his name is David, he enjoyed it so much. We're kind of expensive because, you know, me and all of my singer friends are all, like, college trained to have at least a bachelor's or master's in vocal performance. So I kind of charge a little extra to make sure it's worth my singer's while. So it's, uh, it's we're not cheap. I'll say that. Did she offer Earl Grey tea because I look like Jean-Luc Picard? No, unfortunately she didn't. <laughs> I should be offended, right? I should be offended. Um, all right, this is going to take a while. I'm only going to get to level one engines, even though I should wait and get to level two engines and piloting. But uh, I'm, I'm too impatient. But I did mention recently that uh, this what was interesting about this gig was this tea... I don't know what you'd call it, tea house, I guess, which was like, it's like a restaurant, but they don't really serve food. They specialize in tea. It was pretty small. So, uh, but thankfully they, it wasn't carpeted. So the acoustics were pretty good in there. Um, one thing for future gigs, I want, I, I talked about this, I think earlier this week or last week, is I'm trying to build a, like an audio system that I could take to places that don't have like microphones and speakers and stuff. So. Um, I should be getting in, I was supposed to get audio equipment in yesterday, but it, we had a big storm yesterday, so hopefully I should be receiving some music stuff from, I think it's Sweetwater is the name of the company. It's going to be, it's like a mixer, a, an in-ear mic, uh, an in-ear monitor thing, and a this other pack thing, so I'm, hopefully we'll be able to start setting up better audio when we do gigs in the future. Not really Picard, but is a bit of a heartthrob. <laughs> okay. uh, no man can ever be offended by the awesomeness of Jean-Luc Picard. That's right. There's a tea house called Pajovna where you are. Interesting. You used to order your guitars from Sweetwater. Apparently it's really famous or well-known. My dad apparently orders stuff from them all the time. He's the one who told me to order it from there. Does Picard have to order his Earl Grey tea hot? Because otherwise we'll give him, it will give him iced tea, maybe. Well, we haven't had a dodge in like the last five minutes. Come on, game. I need like five more dodges, don't I? Two for you. Four for you. You're a big fan of Sweetwater? Nice. Well, what was crazy is I've never ordered anything from them. And after I ordered it, like the next the day or the day after, I got a call. I let it go to voicemail because I didn't recognize the number. And it was a voicemail from Sweetwater saying, thanks for ordering from us. If you have any issues, please let us know. We have dedicated sales associates that can help you set up your equipment if you have any issues. It's like, wow, that's actually really nice. With Amazon and us all being, you know, just rando people ordering stuff, I'm not used to above and beyond service like that. I totally butchered that name. Yeah, I don't even know what that symbol above the C is. So I don't know what language that is, so I don't feel bad. <laughs> All right, man. Well, this right here, somebody on YouTube is like, you should train more because when you have this good of a a streak, you need to have every advantage you can get. And I agree, but holy crap, this is so boring, man. I've like, how long have I been sitting here and haven't gotten a dodge? I'm, I'm thinking of quitting right now, man. I haven't even gotten level one engines. We had like a couple dodges. And now we haven't dodged in the last... Freaking finally. Okay, there we go. We finally get one more. Ah, there's piloting. I need... What, what is it? Three more now? Two more? I want two more. You know what? I'm going to start... Uh, I'm going to start shooting at him now. The weapon training.
called catch. We used to we use the soft letters like S C T. It's Czech. Okay. Yeah, I know nothing about the Czech language, so it's called catch. I don't know how that's pronounced then. Uh, training is good. You put your headset on to listen to the story. Went and made a sandwich and didn't miss anything. Okay. <laughs> Training kind of requires better engines to not be so annoying. Yes, it does. There we go. I'm gonna get one more engine, then I'm done. Then I'm done with this. I, this is too boring, man. I can't sit here for 30 minutes waiting for max dodge training. It's just way too boring. Ideally, have something like a double laser. Yeah, I know. You all talk about reading a newspaper, going AFK. If I did that, you know what happened to my stream? Everybody would leave. That's the most boring thing I could think of. Sitting here reading the newspaper while waiting for trading. I'm not doing that, man. That's that's so stinking boring. I am not gonna let my stream become a we sit here and I don't know go AFK while waiting for training or something. Come on, come on, one more dodge, one more. Come <laughs> on. Uh... Minesweeper time. No, we're not. That's 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 Hollow's thing. I can't do it, man. If I'm playing a game, I need to play a game. I don't play a game, then play another game. I can't even do... There it is. I can't even do like those AFK games while playing another game, because I just... I need to focus on one thing. If I get distracted by another thing, I'll come back to this game, and my micro will go all the crap, and I'll start making bad choices, and I'll forget where I am, and just lose it. I need to focus. I know, where'd the streamer go? He's out reading the newspaper while waiting for training. Yeah. Okay, that's a flag. I think I'm gonna hack this guy's weapons. Mm, yes, yes I am. I'm gonna let the uh, basic layer fire. Basic laser fire. Actually, no I'm not. This time out exactly the same time. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. Thank God, just enough hit. Oh, I did damage there too. Um, that's why you can't watch Hollow. Yeah, I understand the appeal of Hollow. He's an amazing player. I would be bored to tears if I tried to watch him play FTL because of how min maxy he gets. Ugh. If it was not a human, I might consider it, but now I am taking the big reward. Just, I can't. I I play games to have fun. I stream to try to entertain. I try to do those things together. And if I'm, if I'm streaming a game and not having fun or feel like I'm not entertaining, then I feel like, what's the point, you know? So. Got to balance min-maxing with keeping things fun. Uh, one of your favorite PC you'd love to see me play Darkest Dungeon. Uh, I have some, I think I have some Darkest Dungeon on YouTube. I'm probably never going to play it on stream again because the game, I, I just, the game is too sw RNG swingy, even more than FTL for me. Hollow's on a 46 streak right now. That's crazy. All right, here's a choice. Civilian or Abandoned 3. Those are both really good. Um, is Abandoned better than Civilian? Do we know? For Scrap Gains, is Abandoned actually better than Civilian? Have I played WOT? I don't know what WOT stands for. You'll have to tell me the words for that. Because to me, that sounds like Wheel of Time, which is a book series that I love. Uh, it's probably still Civilian, right? Because we might be able to get Cloaking. Probably still Civilian. World of Tanks. Oh, no, I'm not into that. He's going for a 95% plus win rate, on, win rate on 280 runs. 10 runs on each ship. Okay. Wow, he has some crazy challenges he's doing. Let's look at um, Nebulas here. So if I skip those to get all four Nebulas... That is an extra two jumps this sector. 
Um, and if I go into the nebula with four nebulas, I think I actually would get level two piloting here because the chance at the man who searched the wreckage event and I can't risk crew. I think I'm gonna do it. Civilian is always the best, although early abandon can compare. I think it's pretty much random generator itself. If you're lucky, don't. If you're unlucky, don't play that. You're talking about darkest dungeon, yeah. Oh, he's on the other, the wrong side of the ship here. Good dodge. Did we get him to move? Yes, we did. Okay, good. Wow, this guy has two shields and a value point. And he already repaired it, so he's got an NG over there. Damn. He's gonna board me again. I'm trying to... Okay, alright. Weapons are not repairing. I will go over here now. Um, in terms of overall scrap gain, nothing compares to the potential of a civilian. Yeah, I, I'm thinking that just the fact that there can, you can roll a bunch of nebula jumps in a civilian sector and the nebulas can be quite lucrative is part of the reason that civilians are so good consistently is because you could just get extra jumps as well as being good rewards. All right. Um... I'm really feeling the hurt of low engines. So I'm going to get one power. I'm going to get one engine power, but not the power yet. Is this some kind of can't have crew challenge? No. This is just the forever alone ship that starts with one crew, and we were offered one free crew. We've been offered two free crew, and I took one so far. Now, my problem with Darkest Dungeon is it feels like you need to accept that your crew is expendable. And it's hard for me to accept that. And a lot of times, I have issues with that. And one bad crit can end your entire run or can, you know, kill off important crew and all this stuff. But... He's in kill guy. Nice. I'm a person who plays... FTL all the time, and Darkest Dungeon feels too punishing. This feels even more punishing by RNG than uh, than even FTL sometimes. This ship is exactly for you. You'd be the lone NG flying through space getting killed. <laughs> okay. Do I have save mana drawn? I do. Um, so you can see what my sectors look like so far. I don't think anything's look too crazy, although that civilian, I mean, the Sultan 2 looks pretty good to me. Wait, you gotta wait for the heal. You completed your very first Blood Moon run with all Caretaker goals completed. Made you feel validated as a gamer. Yeah. The uh, the Blood, I think it was the Blood Moon expansion that put me over the edge of not enjoying um, Darkest Dungeon. Because all those vampire dudes and the the extra bosses they added it just felt so like unwinnable to me like no matter how strong i was one of my guys could just get one shot at any time and i couldn't protect them the dlc and darkest dungeon are not fun but not yeah those are the the dlcs that did it for me uh, i apparently darkest dungeon 2 is supposed to be really good i watched a little bit of dolphin chemist play it but i watched it and i was like yeah Looks good, better graphics, more character classes to play, but it's the same thing of you get unlucky, you die. Blood Moon is just hardest difficulty. You can't ever have more than 16 party deaths. All right, hurry up, dude, hurry up. God, they need to speed up the heal time on that. Whatever. Okay. Store. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're getting eleven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. We do this in a very specific order. Get all of the jumps. Um, okay, I think NG is the best one here. That is not quite enough for cloaking. But maybe if I sell both my drones, I'd be able to afford cloaking. The only Greek DLC that you enjoy is the Vampire DLC. You didn't care for the Mill and the Battle Circus. There is cloaking. It's an Ion Blast Mark 1. So if I sold both of these, that's what, 32? Uh, I think we're like three scraps short of cloaking, aren't we? Okay, I think we got the Ion Blast here, actually. That can help us maybe not be relying on the uh, Heavy Laser. Yeah, I count that we're three short, too. Uh, that's 130, that's 147, and it's 150. So, if I'm not getting Cloaking, I think an offensive upgrade is very good here. Teleport lol. Yes, with my two crew. What a what a great suggestion. Do this. And that. And I'm gonna buy a couple. We'll do this because hopefully that means I can maybe not use hacking as often. Maybe I should have bought drone parts, I don't know. But if we're not getting a defensive upgrade, I think we should we should get an offensive upgrade. I want to hack. Not really. Try and save those drone parts. Good dodge. Good dodge, okay. That's burning. Is there ever a crew kill here? If only I had sensors to see. Probably not. Oh, that's an ion bomb, I just realized. Okay. Um. Fuel bay. No way to see another ship except hacking. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try. Three fuel, one missile. If that was a drone part, I'd probably still say no, honestly. There's a drone part and more scrap. Nice. The sensor, the sensor is usually worth it for 40 scrap, in my opinion. Yes. But not before you get other important things, usually. Maybe there's some niche situations where you're relying on mind control being offensive or something, but it's much more important that I get either a cloaking or mind control before I get sensors. Sensors is more... You get it because it's a hacking... A system that can be hacked that's not an important system for phase one of the boss, basically. All right, um, sure. What do I get for this? 24 scrap? That's worth. Good store location, too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, there's another small chance that we have a bunch of good ship fights that we could get cloaking at this store. Uh, they do have a lot of borders in this, uh, nebula sector. Unlikely to take damage here. Did I ever heal you? I didn't. I actually need to heal him. Done that earlier. Yeah, I did that all out of order. Is it crew kill? Home bay? I could train on what though? He's got he's got boarding. What am I training? There's a chance he could do damage to us. I don't know about training. He should board us a second time, right? We let that guy leave. So now we want this guy to die. 
Um, okay, he left. How do I how do I crew kill this? kill this. Um, I think he's got two crew that are both low on health. Reach in there. If I shoot that. I think that kills a guy. I don't think I crew kill this. There's a breach in there. There's a breach in there. I think someone's in the engines. <sighs> so I, I, if I eye on the O2, that's my crew kill chance, I guess. So they don't repair the shields. Oh, somebody's repairing the shields. It's turning gray, so that is a level one. I don't know if ion blast can do it. Do you think this will work with ironing O2? If he repairs my shields, it'll be... I'll have to heavy laser every time the ion blast fires. That. Weapon training. Well, I still could get do some dodge training. I don't know if this is going to work. I'm going to try it for a little bit while we maybe get some training. Oh, I fired slightly out of sync there, damn it. I was trying to make it so that the ion got there right after the heavy ion, and I slightly mistimed it. Oh, well. I don't know. I'm not convinced that that was a crew kill anyway. Maybe there was, but I'm not going to sweat it that much. So I do have a store, kind of, some store coming up. I'm still hopeful to maybe get cloaking, so... Let's not spend any scrap, even though I kind of want level 2 hacking and power. Take a civilian ship. Two shields, three lasers, cloaking. I don't think the ion would have worked there, or if it did, it would take a very long time. Only ions O2 for five seconds takes longer than that to charge, yeah. Oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Well, that hacking drone's kind of wasted now, I think. I should have moved earlier. Heal drone. What about a heal drone? Heal the enemy? Sadly, that does not work. Even if I had a whole repair drone, I don't. <laughs> it would that doesn't work on enemies. If that's what you're suggesting. After they're done boarding, you can shoot piling or engine to kill one, then clone bay, then kill the other. Uh, after boarding, shoot piloting. Okay, so that was the way to do it. I was thinking I needed to pull them into shields to kill them. Okay. Oh wow, that was an amazing deal. Okay, that. If I get. A little bit more scrap I might be able to get. Ooh, even with that, I might be able to get cloaking from the store. Maybe they mean my Oh you oh you mean I need to heal my drone. Thank you. Yes, you're right. I do need to heal my drone. <laughs> I thought you meant use a heal drone on the enemy so I could have crew killed them. Okay. Yeah, you're right, you're right, Popsicle. Popsicville. <laughs> So I guess my question, Far, would be uh, if we did what you said where we shoot the engines to kill one and kill the clone bay, will the, or not engines, but like piloting, will the guy in piloting not go fix the clone bay? I thought he would go fix the clone bay. I don't know. It's hard. I got to be honest. It's hard for me to know how to do it when I can't see where their crew are 
and I've already damaged systems and they're like running all over the place. So it's, I, it's hard to keep track of what they prioritize repairing. You think the clone base ships in Sector 1 and 2 only have two crew? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that guy did only have two crew. But my question is, if I kill one and kill the clone bay, won't the guy who I didn't kill go fix the clone bay? I know it would still... He wouldn't be able to fix it in time. But if he fixed the clone bay, I'd have to do that a second time and hopefully not do too much damage to kill a ship. Right, is this? I think this guy might offer me crew, which is good for us because if we turn it down, we get a lot of extra scrap. Even still, if they do, because of fires or whatever, they have enough hole left that you can still kill them. I think so. God. Not, con not convinced, but I also am not as experienced as you are in it, so maybe it was possible I missed it. What about this? What about crew killing this? Okay, well, we've done far too much damage to crew kill them now, probably. And you should be the second boarders. So they should go back into engines when they board back. So kill them first. Okay. Get a little bit of training here while they're repairing stuff. Well, potential training. I think the O2 is breached. And I think somebody's low in health and they didn't go repair it. I think. And then they try to run. All right, destroy and salvage it. Okay. To do it in that situation, I want to do something like hit engines where the NG was to kill them with hole laser and clone bay with heavy. Mantis would run to engines if they got hit first, so you'd then take them out next while clone bay was still smashed. The second crew ship, you can kill the second crew and kill the clone bay. Or just kill the second crew when they board is better. The difference between crew killing three crew versus two crew is where you're shooting. If they're boarding with NG, it's child's play. Okay. All right. If they have three crew, you can wait till they board. And the mantis will be the first to repair after they heal up. Then you just shoot O2. I'm not going to remember all this stuff, but thank you for all this <laughs> the info. There's no way I'm going to remember all that. Good dodge. all knowledge that people have in this game yeah means we've all played too much that's for sure all right we've breached o2 i'm going to now wait and see God, everybody's running you're all pansies running away man Dodge training is done. I don't think him... Okay, well, we did just get a breach in the piloting. That's a pretty decent deal with two drone parts. But, with O2 dead and a couple of breaches, we probably don't crew kill it. I can always hack his engines at any point. Right, right, right here, I'm unsure where the NG is. I think the NG is repairing weapons. It's not on piloting. Otherwise, this stuff would be... Um, is this crew killable? NG is either dead or in shields. I think, I think this is... I think this is just wait, and he's dead. Nice. Um, yeah, okay. You think I killed the other crew with the whole laser? Cool. Totally on purpose. Totally. All right. Can we get her cloaking? That would be awesome. 
Yes, we can. Beautiful. All laser one, ion bomb, Hermes. There's our defense drone. Can I do both? Oh my gosh, I can get cloaking and defense drone. Do I want to do both? We definitely do this. I mean, I want to. Should I do both with my number of drone parts? What's up, Scapario? I don't know why you just sent me something. What's that Steam message? Oh my gosh, did you just gift me a game? Or are you just giving a link? What is this? Smash Sk Oh, you're recommending a game. Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep. Okay, I'll have to check that out after the after the stream. It's a free game. Okay. Gifting a free game. <laughs> um Yes, defense drone. Do I sell anything? Anti personnel drone is actually giant alien spider, giant alien spider blue option. System repair, I think, is also some other random blue option. I'm not buying anything with those things. I'm kind of thinking about just keeping these guys for now. I look like a Jedi in that robe I'm wearing. Perfect. It's totally what I'm going for. It is a Snuggie. Yes, it is. Um. So our systems are done except for sensors. I need to get power engines and shields and hacking. So I need a bunch of system upgrades now. But I kind of don't want to sell these drone parts yet. These drone schematics. Holy free system repair drone. Okay, that's uh, that's a nice parting gift for this sector. Investigate. Pirate or Mantis. Pirate or Mantis. Ooh. And then we have a forced green or red right after. Um, okay, let's go over the pros and cons. Pirates. I think they're actually scarier ship-wise because they can have like slug ships with three shields. They can have Zoltan pirates. Um, Mantis can have the you know the red thing lurks and a bunch of Mantis board, but we still do still do have Mantis and uh, uh, anti-boarding drone. We have extra crew for being on doors. Then we have red or green after, which could be forced Zoltan to be the worst and forced abandon be the worst. I don't want borders. I mean, they're both of these sectors are gonna board us. Pirates gonna board us. Manta's gonna board us. Uh, Lanius bombers right now. Two Lanius borders. Mind control scare ship that kills a ship. Well, I still have a next sector before we be dealing with that. But yeah, yeah, two Lanius borders would be terrifying. Although I do feel like anti personnel drone might help some in that regard. I'll be honest, I think Pirate 4 has killed me many, many times. I think I can handle Sultan 5 better than, than Abandon 5. I'm I'm really, a, of these two sectors that I'm looking at, I'm actually more afraid of Pirate than I am of Mantis. What kills more, Pirate 4 or Abandon 5? Well, you're assuming that this is Abandon 5. But I don't know, I, honestly. I feel like Sector 4 sometimes is even even more pivotal sector about getting things online. Yeah, it could be a Pirate 5. Um, gosh. I need to get hacking two up as quickly as possible if I go pirate two, I think, or pirate four, because I think we could have three shield slugs pretty frequently. Sector six is mirrored. Yeah. Oh. oh. This, this might kill me. Um, we can do giant alien spiders with the drone we have.
You had two runs in a row last week where both Sector 7 choices were abandoned. Fun times. Yeah, the top sectors had the double green up there. So, all right. A pirate that I don't know what it looks like before choosing the fight. <sighs> okay, this is quite weak, thankfully. This is actually weak enough. I'm not even going to use a hacking drone on the, on the first volley. I'm going to see if we can cloak this first volley. Dodges. Man, everybody's running away from us lately. You're all pansies. Freaking pirates running away. Man, I wish I had one more crew. I should pull the pilot. That is an amazing deal. Well, that sells for what? 15, still 47 plus consumables deal? Yes, that is a deal. You, sir, know how to deal. I think that thing did like 20 damage in three volleys. Never hit your piloting. Oh, the Sector 4 ship. 10 second. You fought, had a 10 second free cloak, then fired their weapons at you. Their weapons are flak versus laser versus laser 2. Wow, double versus laser 2 with flak. That's crazy. I know that's not a store. I couldn't get if that's a, that is just a store one. I could get that if it's a store. Okay. I think I better get the hacking two now. Face three shield ships. I know three repair drones. I'll never have to repair again. <laughs> hey, that's NG blue option, baby. Nice. Nice. Very good distress beacon. Okay. Let me get one power. Okay, now I want to get engines and power and then third shields. All right, I have no idea again what the pirate looks like. Okay, that is not the worst. Cloak is first volley, no teleporter. I'm again greeting and not gonna hack at first because we can cloak the first volley oh, okay I probably shouldn't have done that it's fine I panicked a bit okay we're good we're good now we can't damage us probably put you here now Three repair drones should be able to be crafted into one whole repair drone. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Is that ever a crew kill? If I keep him repairing shields and weapons, I think this will eventually be a crew kill. So I'm going to see if I can do that. Keep an eye on how things are... Progressing in their repairs. I think if I'm patient, we get this. Okay. I should pull him out of O2 back into shields. Once the weapon comes back up, I'll hole laser it one more time. Okay, I don't think anybody's repairing weapons. If they are, it's a mantis. Okay. Whoops. I should pull him back in there. Okay. I don't think anybody's repairing O2, so I think we still have the crew kill here. Slug crew would have been nice, yeah. Oh! Damn it, I didn't mean to do that. He repaired the O2. Okay. Back up, but I can cloak it. Oh man, I think he might actually be able to repair his O2 in time.
Yeah, I don't think it's there. Did I ever play Papers, Please? Yes, years ago. Probably before you were watching the stream, Bilbo. Because I don't think it's on... I don't think I have any playlist on YouTube. I think it's before I was uploading everything to YouTube that I played it. So a long, 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 long time ago in a galaxy far away, Naboo was under an attack. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two. Okay, we can get all our jumps here. So let's go bam, bam. Uh, about to have to throw some cargo out. Three fuel, two missiles, two drone parts for a f for a power upgrade. If I do this and end up buying any drone parts, I feel like this is a bad deal because that's like sixteen scrap worth of drone parts right there, and nine scrap worth of fuel. I think I turn this down. I think that's far too many resources. Where's my store so I can actually upgrade or sell some stuff? Ah, uh, let's see. So I can't go over there efficiently. I know that that was not a store. I could go there with a little bit of backtrack. Free fuel is the highest price possible. So they're greedy is what you're telling me. They're greedy. Those are some weapons. And he's got teleporter. God, I was too late on that. Oh, my doors and my door and my heel bear broken. Uh, okay. Weapons are down. I need my system repair drone. Go fix that. Fix the O2. Okay, okay, I think we're okay. Uh, his, his, his laser's up. Okay. Oh, that was a scary fight. Double rock dude borders. One, two, three, four, five, six weapon power and... Wow, that's five engines. If I didn't hack those engines, I was probably not getting through there. Uh, no, no deal. You, you go hell, you go hell, you die. Good reward, but scary fight, man. That was a really scary dude. Of all the problems to have, too much free stuff is probably the best one. It probably is the best problem. True. Very true. If I have to have a problem, too much free stuff is the one I would choose. Why can't I hold all this free stuff? All right, let me wait for this guy to heal. I'm gonna check, do we see store yet? Still don't see store. And honestly, we're, our, our biggest vulnerability right now is still borders, so... If I do find a store, I might need to just buy crew. Since I don't have the mind control slot to deal with borders. Follow out the hole, shove a drone in there. It'll be fine. Okay. I'll see about trying to do that. I don't think I could even get that without diving. We're just gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. We're just gonna plan on that. We have every distress covered apart from spiders. I have spiders covered because I have an anti-personnel drone. Oh my gosh, four fuel, man. Man, what if he gives me a map? This is probably the worst distress beacon, taking all of my goddamn fuel. I'm still hoping we're seeing a store. Jeez. 
Please don't be. Oh, God. So apparently stores don't exist in this sector. I see every sec every jump in the sector, and somehow I don't see a store. Hell. I think that means that this was our... I think the one jump I didn't see was this one. You did this in your slug view run yesterday, you got a map and ended up running out of fuel about four times. Yeah, that looks like what's about to happen here. I better get some really good fuel deals after that BS right there. That mind control. As long as that's not level 2, I'm going to allow that. A f effing hell. That was a double hit. With 60-something percent dodge, I think. Dodges on this guy. F your weapons. There we go. Oh, that is very tempting. I think I take that. Oh, man. I need fuel, though. I need fuel. <laughs> I think I still have to take that. That's that's our anti-boarding right there. That's our anti-boarding. I'm doing it. Man, that's... Uh, what did we lose? Like 40-something scrap probably taking that deal in this sector. 35 to 41 scrap. Yeah. I still think it's just... It's too good. I... I Um, a little less dodge training. You know, I'm going to save these positions. It's gotten a little bit of weapon cross training, so let's save that Do this. Yeah, maybe I should have taken the scrap. Honestly, just the fact that I'm so low on fuel was the other thing that was making me go, oh, I maybe just need to skip out on that, but... So far, we've gotten zero free crew, apart from turning down scrap gains for it. So, game is being really stingy with crew rewards. Plenty of other opportunities to get some scrap, but I need scrap now. And I also need fuel now. <laughs> Alright, rescue the store. Wow, did you really just do that? Well, now that's interesting. If I do that, I can actually go one, two, actually one, two, three, four, dive, cloaking. I have a lot of stuff to sell. You probably rejected it, but only for fuel reasons. At this point, accepting crew is more reasonable since I have the systems in place, yeah. Okay, that's a guaranteed store as long as we win the fight. Only three fuel don't make a plan for four jumps. I know zombie shop, but what I'm considering is I can get here in three and then buy fuel and get out. Um, what I'm thinking about is what I do before that. So if I go to stress and we gain fuel, then I can go one, two, three, 
here, dive. If I go here, don't get fuel, then I could go one, two, three. Conversely, I could go to the ship fight and hope we kill the guy, get fuel, and then go one, two, three, and then dive. Um, take fight, then exit, then backtrack. I'm, I'm trying to decide if I want to go for full greed. What are, what are distress beacons that gets me fuel? Um, I don't know if giant alien spiders does with anti-personnel drone. I think that's just scrap. So is a fight or a distress beacon more likely to give me fuel? The distress beacon could be another guy asking for my fuel. It's a stress, no ship, so it's not a trap. Spiders is scrap plus high resources. You often get loads of missiles from it. Uh, AP drone would give medium scrap and resources. Medium scrap and resources. Uh, I'm going to take the distress. Either way, whichever one I take, there's a chance of fuel. Then I'm going to the exit beacon. Then I'm going to the store. And then I'm diving. So this one. I need to see what the different rewards are. I honestly can't remember. Help, our shields are down. We won't last long. FTL, help, our shields are down. We won't last long. So... If we shield them, we have a 1 and 3 for some fuel. If we use defense drone, repair drone, process a drone part. Uh, wait, where's the reward for that? Use a drone to protect their ship. Take damage. A weapon and medium scrap. Federation base is added to our map. The other one. The defense drone. Is that the same thing between both of those? Oh, it is. Okay. It looks like none of them is fuel except for the one and three on shield their ships. So... Yeah. Oh. What? Is that the same? Is that what I what I thought it was going to be? I didn't get the... Oh, it's one or the other. Oh, it's one or the other, which neither of them were ever fuel. Okay. Well, at least... Okay, that's a, that's a, that's a hidden federation base next sector. You like the hidden base potential? Is that the one where we need, like, level two sensors to not lose it? I forget. All right, well, we're going to the quest... Go to the exit beacon, then we go to the quest, because quest is a store. Uh, <laughs> I need fuel. I do need fuel. I know, it's refueling platform. I need level 2 doors for the dock with the refueling platform, but I don't remember the everything else. FTL dock with the refueling platform. What are, what are the opportunities for fuel here? Um, offer damaged, uh, three hole damage, lose fuel. Oh my God. There's a, okay. The blast doors is what protects us from this one. Ignore is a potential fighter. And so 50, 50 on the ignore. Sometimes you just get free fuel. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to dock for once. Wait for them to finish. Oh, god damn game. Oh, F me. I just wasted a goddamn drone part. I thought my anti-personnel was there. Don't kill my drone, please. Yeah, that should get him out of there, right? No, I'm just going to kill that drone. F my life. Killing all my damn drones. Does he? Do they even kill that one? Oh, Jesus Christ. That just cost me three fucking drone parts. You frustrating game, man. You freaking FTL game. I'm pretty sure that was, yeah, that was the worst effing outcome. Goddamn worst outcome every goddamn time.
Well, this 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 store that I'm gonna rescue better give me like ten free fuel to make up for this BS we just experienced. The worst can happen to, to everyone. Events the best. I don't know what that sentence means. Weapons are crap, at least. And the only reason his thing was charging was because we're out of fuel, so he's not actually running. Ignoring the drone. All right, so repair, it's no extra fuel, though. So it's repairs plus Igniter there. Interesting. There's also a whole repair drone. I am really low on freaking drone parts right now, man. Two freaking drone parts left. Oh, that that last jump where I got bored in and I turned on defense drone that just wasted a drone part. Oh, man. That might be the most costly misclick of this run. Seven fuel is good though. I'm going into a dive right now. I sell my anti personnel and my system repair now. Man, can I afford pre ignite if I do that? Uh, maybe I shouldn't have bought all that fuel so quickly. Pre igniter does nothing in this spot. What do you mean? We have a hull laser. Although it feels too expensive still. I agree it feels like bait, but I disagree that it does nothing. But I think it's just too expensive. Um, I think going into the dive, I, what I actually do is get some engines and power, along with some repairs. I need power. Power. Oh, I think I even do this, honestly. Yeah, I agree. Sleeping Dragon, I think I need the drone parts. Even though I just wasted a bunch. I can't. I can't say. You know, it's lost. What is it? Sunk cost fallacy. I can't just, like... Ignore the fact that I wasted those and not buy more. Let's get our better training guy here. Okay. okay he's got a missile and a Vulcan. Do I want to use a defense? Uh, do I want to use a defense drone? I think I honestly just hack his weapons. dive at least. Did cause this one drone part. Hey, it's a villain and not Sultan. Nice. Nice, nice. Alright, cost us one drone part. But the store was definitely worth. Yeah, there, there's some uh, you're, you're kind of like me where I think you go over the top too much where you say something's worthless when that's that's 
opportunity cost, I think is a better way to say it. I agree. I agree with Professor Leskinen. It might not be the right choice now, but it doesn't mean it's worthless. It's like when I when I buy flax when I should be getting defense when my offense is already good enough. It's like I overvalue flax sometimes when I should probably make other choices. Uh, scrap some free. That is a nice free 44 scrap. This quest is Hidden Federation Base. Uh, I can't remember. I cannot remember. I think it's level 2 sensors, but I don't have sensors anyway. I always go there. The question is, do I go here first to see if there's a store? If there is a store... Like, I feel like I get you baited and go there and not go to the quest, so... I think I have to ignore those two jumps. And pretend that my stores are not up there. After a short break, question popped in your mind. You know how, for example, when you buy a burst laser? Nice. Um, over Halberd Beam, the cost is not only money, but also the fact you don't have the Albert Beam and the benefit it has. That is opportunity cost, yes. That That is what opportunity cost is. If you buy one thing, which means you can't afford the other thing, what you spent was not only scrap, but also the opportunity to get something else. That is what opportunity cost is. It's one way of defining it. In the ship, what do we got? Rebel Rigger, probably offensive drones. Does he have, is he running? He's not. He does have three shields. So we'll do this. I just poke the bomb. I double breach. Ooh, that's a that's a satisfying sound. Okay, well that guy's stuck in there. Frickin', are you? St God damn it! All right, it's fine. It's whatever. It's fine. Small bomb, double fire. How the F are you dodging every effing shot and I dodge nothing? Give me a break, stupid game. Give me a fucking break right now. F your weapons, bro. Now this guy had insane dodges. Damn it, that timing on that was terrible. Alright, what an annoying fight. It's fine, we didn't... We, not to say we didn't take that much damage. That guy didn't have, like, six engines and dodge that much. I don't know what just happened, but... Oh, for love of God, can I please have free crew? Oh, yes! Oh, that's an amazing double reward. So that was Federation base, right? Oh, that was huge. That was huge. Alright, I'm gonna do, um... How close are you to your... You're not very close at all, actually. Let's go like this. I'm going to do this. Save you here. Okay, 187 scrap. Five fuel. Let's go store. And let's hope for something to replace this ion blast. If there's no good weapons or augments, we can get third shield. There's our sensors. Oh, there's a heavy laser. Okay. I'm not going to keep that. I need to buy drone parts. Uh, Yeah, heavy laser is better than ion blast, but what about chain laser? It's actually an extra shot. Chain laser. 15 seconds. Honestly, it doesn't line up terribly with whole laser on the first thing. I know, fuel. I know. 
I also need drone parts, I know. Let me consider my other options first. I also have sensors there. Thinking of selling Ion Blast, buying Chain Laser. Getting sensors. And then buying the fuel and drone parts we need. I think that's what I'd like to do. I don't love Chain Laser, but it does give us an extra shot. Yeah, if I hack shields, that'll be a much better volley. That's for you, um... Let's see, uh... Julian Verse and your love of chain lasers, that's for you. You buy our sensors now. Buy fuel. Buy one drone. Mm, I'm gonna buy two drone parts. Okay, bought all all the fuel and most of the drone parts. Well, yes. So we have a better weapon system. The only thing I'm really missing is third shield. We're all, actually almost boss ready, I would say. Almost. If only Julian Verse was still here. I know, right? Wow, missile cloaking. Only one shield on this ship. I'm going to not use hacking as my uh, plan here. Just fire everything with weapons. Jesus Christ, man. Look at these frickin' dodges. You've gotta be shitting me. One shield, I shot one, two, three, six shots at him. And I hit two. The actual F game. This is two ships in a row where the dodges have just been absolutely ridiculous. Eat, shiznit, and die, weapons. Jesus. You heard your name. You're still in the background. You're just not paying attention. Give me that sexy, sexy chain later. Okay. Uh, basketball is more important today. Oh, uh, is, is that the... What is that called? Is the uh, final four or something happening? Jesus, these dodges, man. Give me a freaking break. That pulls the pilot. Thank God. All right. Good. Not a good deal. Get blasted. All right. We should have taken zero damage there. With how weak that ship was. But apparently they put all of their weapon and shield power into engines and are, were impossible to hit. Uh, six, five, four, three, two. Yeah. Uh, they want to hack my shields. Really? Oh, he's got cloaking too. Oh, God, freaking shield hack. What are his weapons? I think it's an Ion Blast Mark II and a Chain Laser. Now, y'all are all assuming gender, and I think you're assuming incorrectly, by the way. Um, just letting you know. I'm, I'm gonna allow the hack. And I'm gonna hack his pilot and shoot everything at weapons and hopefully make do no damage. Opening round of the double MCA tournament. Okay. Yes, which is the final four or March Madness thing. Very nice. Four games at it at all times of the day, two monitors. Oh wait, four games at a time all day. Two games on each screen. Okay. <laughs> nice, nice. Julian versus 
uh, identifies as a chain laser. Sounds about right. Wow. Okay. I, I should have waited. I should have used my hacking. I didn't think hacking. You strongly consider, consider getting two more monitors just for this weekend every year. Wow, that's crazy. You are a basketball fanatic, apparently. This is why you have four monitors for March Madness, really? You love college basketball, so fun. We have to down. This is why you have four monitors just in general to watch all the things. That makes sense. That makes sense. You're a Duke fan. Okay. Who needs chain lasers if you can have basketball? Well, that's a weird sentence. Um, okay. I want third shield. Let me get one more power. But I'm not going to actually get the shield value yet, because here, this will see if I have a second store that I can reach without diving. If I go one, two, I'll see every jump that's left this sector. So I'll see it all, all chances at other stores, so, okay. You have to wonder how much you can realistically absorb on four screens like that. You can barely flip between two things. You're still losing focus on individual stuff, yeah. Well, there's the store. Is this a is this a diving worth is this is it worth diving this sector? I would only get one extra jump. I don't think it is. One, two, three, four. Here's a new ship idea for Arbor G Nerdos, a ship that throws basketballs at other ships. Okay. It's a black. I'm going to attempt to greed and not use a drone part again. Got one walking offline. Swapped out, okay. Cloaking. What game is Rand polaying again? You're busy playing FTL. Uh, what game What game am I playing? I thought I was playing FTL. Wow, really? Single flak, 40% dodge. You did damage? Okay, that seems not right. Apparently I had literally zero dodges. All right, back to basketball. We're distracting you. Sorry, Julian Verse. Oh, that's a fire. Uh, uh, steel supplies. Nice. Your humor fall fails. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't get, I don't get it. All right, so store. What would I gain from a store? What could I gain from a store? A flak, a long range scanners, drone recovery arm. Yeah, whole repair drone. There's probably some things I could still use at a store. So let's check it out. Gives Space Jam a whole new meaning. The enemy ship shoots a basket bomb in your O2. Your ship blows up instantly. A basket bomb. There's a flak! They have laser too. Alright, we finally found our good weapons. Um. Okay, mm what do I replace with the flak? I guess the chain laser, even though I just bought it. There's the flak. The preview of what the flak meme will be once uh, Bilbo gets the other animation thing going um yeah. no, it's just that's the play okay what else do we do do I care about any of those things I don't think so do I care about an anti-drone drone with cloaking especially not what about crew oh it might be worth getting an extra crew heavy laser is really expensive like, I'd have to sell whole laser two. Unless you're talking about replacing my heavy laser one with heavy laser two. That's really expensive. That means I'm downgrading my offense right now. I don't think that's worth 
Oh, wait, you're saying sell my heavy laser for what? I think sell my heavy laser one to get a heavy laser two. You use flak one plus heavy laser two right now. Uh, seems too expensive. You meant instead of replacing chain laser, I could have replaced the heavy laser. I thought about that, but if I sold heavy laser and bought flak, then again, my offense was worse right now. Because there was no way I could do that and get the flak online with the other two weapons, so. Yeah, third shield is calling. More crew is calling. I want to repair and buy some fuel. I'm just going to get shield value right now. We're, we're basically boss ready. I just wanted to see what's at the store. We really do need to get third shield. Um, you know what? Yes. Yes, I will take that deal. You consider replacing hole two with heavy just for the speed. I don't know. To me, it's just too expensive of a change right now to do anything with my weapons. With what, with, since what I have is actually quite good, spending scrap to side grade my weapons or tiny upgrade feels too expensive. Honestly, I feel like crew might have been the best thing I could have done there, because I still only have four crew. Dealing with orders is not our strength still. Yeah, pirate. Pirate, I, I took pirate less for the crew opportunity and more for the double green options after, so. Hey, not five free hole damage. Take the weapon. All right, well, we'll be selling that probably. Here. Or there's a store up there. I'd actually be diving if the store is up there. Also, want one, two. No, that's a dive. The store's up there. One, two. The store's there. I'd have to dive either there or one, two, three there to get it. If the store's there, I don't have to dive. I guess I'll check that. Oh, thank you for the flak bits, Nietzsche. Appreciate that. Darth Bama, I missed your follow earlier. Appreciate that. Guaranteed missiles down. Nice. Wow, we didn't get a breach with two with a whole laser two and a heavy laser and four shots. Seems kind of unlucky. Uh, I should be getting shield training with you. Shield training is what I care the least about, so I'm not going to actually spend any more time on just getting shield training from that. Three fuel is great, and that should get us shield. Ah, it's one scrap shy, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, it's a distress beacon. I'm not diving for a distress beacon, that's for sure. Weapons train? Um, now that's an interesting idea. We almost have level one in weapons. Just imagine the most evil weapon that FTL could include, the whole bird beam. Wow, Com combining halberd beam and whole beam together? That does sound terrifying. Double missiles, and he's gonna hack me. So that keeps our hack online. I don't know if I should have gone so hard on that. Um, I got one missile. Yikes. Okay. Let's kill an NG there. Oh, okay, his weapons are burned now.
Freaking pirate hacker, man. What a hacker you are. Okay. Not the best fight. But he did have double missiles. And we did get a free repair from it, so okay. I had to use two drone parts, though. That's what I didn't love about that fight. Part. Message. Imagine a Glowbird beam. <laughs> <laughs> Glowbird, Glaive, Halbert, and Holbeam all in one beam. Wow, so balanced. Uh, Glowbird. <laughs> that word makes me glow in my mouth. Apparently, uh, Glowbird. That's the weirdest word I've ever heard. Ba 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 bird 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 is that word. La 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 Glowbird. Glowbird is a beam. Multiverse has the Holbeam too. That's basically that. That's four power. Okay. Stellar Flare, Free Intruders. Um, God, this is annoying. Uh, how do I deal with this? Oh my God. I freaking hate this stupid bullshit event, man. I kind of need an empty jump. Oh, Mr. Booga, don't die. Okay, I moved him. Please don't be a fight. Ignore the refugees. Don't die. Okay, all right. All right, I think we're fine. I, like I said, boarding is still our biggest issue. Freaking free boarders in the goddamn... In a room that I literally couldn't vent. You know, this ship really sucks. This ship really sucks, and one of its biggest weaknesses is it's so bad because it's venting it so bad. Like, if they board anywhere over here, you just, you literally can't vent them. God, this ship sucks. That was, that was really scary. I thought I was going to lose crew there. But we didn't lose crew, thankfully. You're stressing me out, game. You're stressing me out. Restore with 40 scrap. Vacuum to sell. How much do we have? We go through two nebulas, we get seven. Seven, six, five. I have to go to the store. We have to go to the store now and then through the nebula. Do I care about... Hmm. I mean, if I didn't do that, where would I go? Yeah, that's basically the only good route to go here. Congrats on the micro, thank you. I kind of want to sell Pike Beam for crew if there's any crew available. No crew, advanced FTL, scrap recovery, distraction. Clone Bay is interesting. I need fuel though. What do y'all think about Clone Bay? I am heavily considering Clone Bay right now. I feel like it puts me a little bit behind on like power and system upgrades, but lets me do giant alien spiders. I think it helps me deal with phase three of the boss boarding, killing off our own crew. Events like what we just had where while I'm jumping, my crew are fighting, I'm a little more protected. Less stress with boarding. You say less stress. I think it's just... It's just better. You know, it's just always better. 50 scrap is a lot. I think it's worth. I think protection for my crew is worth. Losing any crew right now would be kind of catastrophic. So I think this makes it less likely that we lose crew. Oh my god, and we got immediately manually searched, so, you know, that's results-based analysis, but based on what just happened, that was the best play ever. Uh, if you're reluctant to switch, but on no pause, it probably makes the micro less stressful. If you thought with this many heavy lasers, you could probably get a lot of crew kills. Well, I feel like I've been trying and it's just not been happening, but I'm probably not good enough to get those crew kills right. Did 
Let's go. There's a jump there. Jesus Christ. Okay, we got the we got that guy offline. Okay. The problem is I freaking breached there, so no mana system that I can't do anything with. I was hacking. Basically, he's disabled his weapons, so that's good. Well, four fuel, eight missiles. If that was like two or three drone parts, I'd consider it. Four fuel is still pretty good. Uh, it's actually not a terrible deal. Um, I take it for the fuel. Yeah, I'm gonna take that for the fuel, actually. I think it's worth for the fuel. I've been low on fuel for a while now. And that's enough to buy one thing that I want, which is power. Ha! <laughs> we took the deal, he, he dies anyway. Get wrecked. Maybe I even get the Clone Bay value. Is there ever a blue option with Clone Bay value? I don't think so. What are we going into? Sector 6? No, we're going into Sector 7. You know, I kind of need level 3 hacking, honestly, going into Sector 7, so I think I'm going to save for that. Did I know that civil engines don't run? I may have heard that once or 8,000 times. Alright, so this guy... Weapons are not too crazy. The dodges. Fired that earlier. It's fine. Dodges. Getting to move this guy. Never gonna get that shield training. I feel like I could probably crew kill this, actually. That's level 3 heal bay. He's got two crew. How would we crew kill two crew on this? I need to hit the frickin' shields once to pull them out of the heal bay. Okay, okay. Ah, oh, he frickin'... Guy's literally dodging me, okay. Well, uh, no, two. I think if we just wait now, I think that's a crew kill. He never goes back in the heal bay. Yeah, we're good. Uh, so weapon training. Just have to wait. The thing I'm kind of worried about is, is weapons timing out. Okay, as long as we get a dodge, he needs folly. Do, 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 do. Level one engines. I mean, level one weapons. We're getting some shield and some weapon training while we wait. Very nice. Weapons meant to go in scanners. No, he was training on the heavy laser, so he can't. I was trying to get some weapon training on him. Twenty of sixty-five. All right, sixty-nine scrap. The best amount of scrap. There. All right, so I'm trying to get level three hacking by next sector. That's an empty jump. All right, so if he offers me crew, what's the scrap? This is the this is the slaver, right? Yeah. If he offers me crew, do I take it? Not obviously this, but the free crew. We probably want to try to crew kill this guy, right? If I crew kill him, we have a chance for free crew and scrap games. How would I crew kill... 
heal bay shoot is something. How do what's what's the crew kill on a ship like this? Hack O2? Uh, I think it's just an O2 hack. Okay, he's got drone control. Let me see what drone he has. Okay, that's no onboard drones. Heal bay. We're in sector six. Gosh, I'm gonna try it. Get that offline. Okay. I think I need to hack a second time. You might try to run. got an NG in there repairing. Got a heal bay. Just worried about him doing damage while I'm trying to do this. Okay, alright. Now maybe we can do it. Okay. So he goes and hangs out in the heel bay. Um, I should have done that earlier, probably. Okay. That should work. That should do it. Beautiful. B A U T full. Uh, I'm not getting shield training, but that's okay. O2 hack, then shoot O2 generally works even against repair drones because the hack locks the doors and delays them. Okay. Uh, no free crew, though. So I turned down a Mantis for 55 scrap. Still a good reward, but I was hoping for a reward and Mantis. I mean, uh, scrap reward and crew. So did we just get zero crew in this uh, pirate sector? I think we did. And double bombs. Double missile using weapons, I should say. Fire everything at the weapons. See if I can avoid using the defense drone or a hacking drone. Okay, I'm not going to use the defense drone because defense drone is worth. It's too late. Uh, drone part is eight scrap. Two health is six scrap, so I traded health for a drone part there. Do I feel behind? Nah, I don't think so. I don't feel super. I feel like I'm on track. That's what I feel like. I don't feel behind. I don't feel super far ahead. I feel like we're on track. Maybe a little ahead, honestly, with the amount of free stuff we're getting and that reward. Maybe a little ahead. Oh, man, Zoltan or Zoltan. Oh, gosh. Um, I don't even want Zoltan Bait World's quest, right? So I probably take control instead of Homeworlds. You called it. Did you call double Zoltan? Why did you jinx me like that? Oh, man, Zoltan Border Police are gonna suck. Although, you know what? Clone Bay might help us a lot with that. Homeworld's Quest is a jump that isn't a Zoltan fight, though. And you can kill the Envoy. And if we get it early enough, I'd probably take the quest, because either Zoltan Shield or Envoy actually would be quite nice. You know what? Let's go Homeworlds. If we just happen to get lucky and get early Zoltan Shield quest, we'll take it. Yeah, it's a choice for sure. Okay, store. We do have 
couple things we can sell. Stores a non Zoltan fight. Okay, what do you got, sir? Charge booster, range shark. If you have crew, I probably buy crew here. I keep this for phase three. The boss to get the result and shield faster? No. Okay. How many Zoltan blue options are in Zoltan sector? There's the checkpoint. Is that the only one? Convince them that they've already. That was mind control. I think I think there is at least one Zoltan blue option. So I'm gonna take you, put you on shields, freeze you up to be there. Flak to remind you, you were bored yesterday and told chat GBT to do a weapons tier list. According to the bot, Flak 2 is the best weapon in the game. Wow. What about anti-drone for phase two? I have cloaking, so again. How many jumps do we have this sector? 12, so I do need fuel. One's old and blue option, and it upgrades O2. Well, I'm getting him not just for the blue option, so I still think it's worth um, drone parts. If I one drone part, I need hacking three. Only the trade hub, hub and the terraforming event is Zoltan Blue Option. Okay. It ranked Flak 1 6, just had a Vulcan and Burst Laser 3. Wow. Is that from a bot or is that like chat voting on that or something? I don't know what chat GBTPT is. I'll buy more crew or any more consumables or anything. I think I'm going to go with that. I'm going to get Doors and Clone Bay to help. Potentially deal with board, uh, own border police. It's the AI, it's a bot, okay. Well, I guess get it out of the way early. Okay, his weapons aren't the worst, still kind of scary. Uh, that is a lot of dude. Uh, did I not hack? Okay, there it is. It hadn't got there yet. Okay, alright. That should be GG. Dealt with the Zoltan Shield, Border Police, whatever. Uh, is there a crew kill here, potentially? I think maybe so, yeah. Yeah, that's a crew kill. Ha! Zoden border police get wrecked. All right, we sadly need to vent these guys, but nice. Terminate the border police with extreme prejudice. You know what the, uh, the counter to border police is? Double mantis and a double fire in your shield room. I'm now a... I'm now a smooth criminal. Bum 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 I'm very glad I had Clone Bay for that event, by the way. Heal Bay might have been okay, but Clone Bay made that feel a lot less scary. Um, let me see what I want to get next. Uh, the bot claimed it was partially based on his personal experience playing the game, which is amusing. You told it it didn't have any of those, and then immediately agreed with you. <laughs> okay. You don't have any experience. I agree. <laughs> oh, something like an interesting conversation you had with that. 
spot. Oh, that chat GBT is the thing where it like... Like you can talk to... You know, Breaking Bad, or you can talk to whatever. It's that whole thing, isn't it? Is that, is that what that... It's a language model thing? Okay. Fuel Bay would have made it easier, probably, since they beamed in there. Yeah, maybe it would have. But that's only because of where they boarded. I think I want to swap these, actually. If they boarded over there, then either Heal Bay or Clone Bay would have been better. So, yeah. Oh, well. I still am glad I have Clone Bay, because if we get a single, you know, giant alien spider event or anything else that gets us blue option, it'll be worth... Chat GPT is a beast at chest. At chess. AI voices and such are a different thing. Oh, okay, maybe I'm getting that mixed up. So I'm not Five scrap. Alright, we're starting to get some really nice scrap rewards. We don't want to distress beacon because we'd rather have Resultant Shield Quest now. If we're gonna get it, we want it now. Drone here. I don't have the Microsoft counter, it's fine. We shouldn't be able to take any damage here. Unless our defense drone fails utter, utter, utterly and horribly. I'm not going to use a hacking drone. Probably a crew kill here too. I do uh, O2. Wow, these dodges though. With nobody on engines, man. Oh man, that was actually gonna be an utter failure if that had happened. I should pull him off with a mind control. No, oh, okay. No, missile's down. O2's down. <laughs> he turned on the mic control and then turned it right back off. I love it when the Zulpins are stupid like that. Doing this to keep them in the repairing. Um, the frick? Where did my... I did not even notice my... Shield. This is so stupid of me. Alright, F this guy. Took damage, pissed me off, just kill him. When did my shields go down? Did I take power out of shield at some point? I don't remember doing that, but I must have. Was that one of those auto things where Heavy Ion took our shields down when it wore off? The power just stays out because stupid Zoltan powers crap. Oh yes, it is a Zoltan on shields. A little late, but we deserve an RPG Nerdos. RPG Nerdos deserves to be in there. All right, 144 scrap. Um, we have all our systems. Hey, hear them out. We got it. Okay. Um. Okay, we can get there without diving, too. Interesting. Maybe it was a backup battery. Yeah, it might have been backup battery. Might be right, zombie shop. Long range scanners. Feels a little late. But might be worth. I don't know. What do you all think about Sector 7? Long-range scanners. You think no thanks? It's only 30. Not worth. Hmm. I think our path is set. For this sector, yes, but sector 8. If it gets this one extra ship fight, I feel like it pays for itself. 
Yeah, we're kind of so far ahead, it doesn't matter. Um, you know what I really want? I really just want extra crew. That could deal with boarding, so... the two Zoltans and shields. Thinking about the extra rock as well. What else do I need for this ship? I basically just need power and value points and our build's done. So, yeah, I'm, I'm even going to get an extra rock here. I'm going to put him on doors. This is one of those things where I'm like, I'm so greedy I can do whatever I want. So I'm getting crew because that's what I feel like my biggest weakness is. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Even if I get, um, even if I get, um, Envoy, we still won't be over stacked on it, so. You want to be the nameless Zoltan inside that ship? Okay, sure. Um. Give me a second. I gotta be not in an asteroid field. And double missiles. Let's not fire that. Wow, FU FTL. My hacking drone got instantly killed by an asteroid. Go F yourself, FTL. Oh, I was a little worried about drone parts. I didn't buy any at that store. It's a combat drone in an asteroid field. Kill the drones, please. Thank you. Did he die in that fire? Not quite. Yeah, thinking about it, but nah. Who cares? Who cares about crew kill? It's crap games. We got our, at least we got one drone part back. Zoltan shield quest would be maxing out your crew. That's what you hope for. Yes, I would like to max out my crew for sure. Although Zoltan shield's still probably better. We're already at the go after yourself part of the stream. We're always at that part of the stream. Um, this guy does have a chance to do damage to us. Poking you. Probably won't actually be able to stack, but still. Okay, that was some crazy good dodges. Freaking dodges, man. Give me a break. Did that drone come back up? Okay, the drone didn't come. Oh, it did. Okay. Man. Quadruple NGs and double ion beam build. Oh, I'll get a drone offline. Okay, I got the two drone. I might have to actually hack these guys' weapons. You know what? I'm just. No way that hits! Fuck you, FTL. I did that perfectly. All right, F your shields, man. I totally did that right. That. Oh wait, I'm a, I'm ion immune. I'm so dumb. I'm I've been ion immune this entire time, and I didn't even realize. Wasted a drone part. I'm all stressing out about this. Totally forgot that I bought a second Zeltan that makes me immune to this. Yeah, yeah, it's my bad. If he had Halberd beam, I wouldn't be, but he doesn't have Halberd. Yeah, I know, I know. Zone protection, blah, 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 blah. I know, I know. Jesus, I'm gonna kill all his drones before I'm gonna kill his damn ship. Now, who did who wanted to be with uh, RBG Nerdo's Cruel Angel? Let's be. Alright, time to find out if we get a Zoltan shield or a Zoltan envoy. 
Hail them. Reconciliation of our deals by war. All right. Envoy. Let's see. Uh, and you know what? Uh, little Angel, you're now my full power from systems I want power out of Zoltan. It's a very important job. Because that's uh, actually full training there. I think I forget a lot when I have two Zoltans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to, that's something I need to remember. Keep in mind as a reminder thing. Remember as a reminder. Remember reminder. Fuck you, FTL. That's what that is. Jesus Christ. How did I do no... I have fucking... I have seven shots. I didn't get through three shields. What the F, game? Give me a... F Ugh. Stupid. I think deleted my Zoltan, man. This guy's got 8,000 goddamn dodge percent. Fucking breach missile. If I'd gotten my defense run up, I could have avoided that damage. What the hell is happening? Oh, God. I'm, I'm getting effed by a fucking firebomb right now. Could you give me a fucking break game. I'm doing a very bad job of not being salty right now. Jesus Christ, game. I don't think I dodged a... I think I dodged one effing firebomb that entire fight. Give me a fucking break, man. Oh, we didn't lose any crew. It's just really, really goddamn annoying there. I lost health from the goddamn breach missile. Jesus Christ. I should have just I should have just used the drone part and got my defense drone up. I was greedy. I'm trying to greed for my drone parts right now. Uh what do I need? I need value points in places. I'm gonna want level three cloaking. I'm gonna go through there, and I need one more power, and we are basically boss ready. Okay. We got envoyed. We did. Honestly, not too sad about it. Um, speed hero. If he offers me crew, we definitely turn it down. Maybe my weapons are just bad, man. Like I, I said I don't feel behind, but... Everybody is dodging literally every shot. Not literally, sorry. Figuratively every shot. And it makes me feel like we are so... We're having such a hard time doing anything to anybody right now. I guess it's my drone parts and me being so stingy with using them like he's got nobody on piloting he's dodging half of my crap man i think seven shots is fine just rng jesus is screwing me yeah it must be what it is because i feel like i feel like every time i fire like i'm doing little to no damage because their dodges are so ridiculous should have invested in a better aiming bot okay can i get one repair station okay good we are really far from the base, though, if I go that way. Oh, we have to go that way for some parts. What's up, Wembola? 
Another NG ship? This is actually the last of the NG ships for this, uh... Streak. Okay, um... So I want fourth shield, but I actually want a value point in weapons even more than I want fourth shield. I somehow got a combat drone at some point. That must have been a free reward from something. Going well? Well, potentially. If I get a bunch of sector eight empty jumps, wouldn't be the best, but... Wow, okay. Every jump is empty in this sector, apparently. Good riddance for engine ships, you're not a fan of them? Okay, this is not, a, not enough time. Okay, hacking my shields. Okay, good. We did hit there. Hacking their drone control, because if they hack my shields and have offensive drones, that could be very, very, very scary. Okay, good. We got the hacking. Well, actually, I thought the hacking was a higher level hacking. Apparently not. Okay, we're deleting some crew. All right. This has been a very long run. I don't know why it's been such a long run. I guess I've been going really slow. There's a store, and I do have a combat drone to sell. And I'm moaning about my weapons. If I got another flax of the heavy laser, that might be better. One, two, three, potential repair afterwards. Yeah, let's check it out. Been min-maxing a lot. Yeah, I did do training a couple times. Been doing really slow crew, crew kills a couple times. Can I get the whole laser too with... Oh, whole beam. I don't think I can buy whole laser 2 and get it online with instead of heavy laser. I don't know if I actually want to do anything with the swarm missile. Whole beam. Whole beam is that is tempting. Okay, repair station is gone. I could sell heavy laser and get whole beam. I would be missing out on bit on power. A whole beam is probably a good choice, honestly. Probably double my damage. What I'm thinking about is heavy laser is good for crew kills phase one. My hacking, I'm hacking shields, shooting at shields. Is there an option where I buy the whole beam? Don't use it phase one while I try to get some crew kills in their shields and can still get it online for phase two and three, maybe. I did practice the nine damage swipe, you're right. What's up, JSB? I'm doing all right. Okay, I think I'm gonna buy it. Scrap. I don't think I'm gonna use it phase one. Yeah, I want to keep heavy laser for phase one because whole laser two and heavy laser one into shields, I feel like can get me a lot of crew kills. Let me just just do that, and with maybe one more jump and boss fight, I should be able to get 100 scrap to be able to use it. Tax labor scum. Decent crew for dealing with borders. Yeah, but I don't have the mind control counter, and that always makes me nervous for phase three. Not having the mind control counter always makes me nervous. Although I appreciate you not offering me a human. Can 
finish him. Let's repair the dodge in time. No. Okay. Now that does let me get this and this, which does let me do beam drone phase two. Uh, not beam drone, whole beam phase two. I was, I was also thinking about whole beam is undodgeable for phase three to hopefully get the result in the shield faster, so. All right, so phase one, we let hacking come through. Uh, if you hack something bad, I actually don't have a place to run. Kind of sucks. Not my weapons, not my weapons. Oh, it's a great hack. That is a great hack. Turn this on. That's one crew kill, one crew kill, and it's breached down on fire. Gotta love that. Wait for the cloak. We do take the second missile volley. Good double dot or good single dodge. Not the best. The okay, missiles are now down. Locked in. Holy crap, how many crew kills have we got so far? Another one down. Why? Okay. Why are my shields down? Where did all my power go? I must have triple ion hit me. Alright, one crew left. That's exactly what I want. Alright, took four damage. Apart from that four damage, I would say that's a perfect phase one, because we left one, him with one crew. Why doesn't Rand try to shoot down the hacking drone since he has like 25% 25 times more experience? You assume there's a reason. Uh, they never, well, it takes them forever to run out of drone parts. Um, defense drone doesn't always shoot it down, and so it's not like a guaranteed protection from their hacking drone. And I'd rather just let it through to see what it is at the beginning of this, the fight than be in the middle of the fight where I get all focused on other stuff, and then realize all of a sudden, crap, there's a weapon hack that I didn't notice. Because often, at the beginning of the fight, if it's if it's if if I do get a weapon hack, I'm going to run away and come back to the fight so I can try to re-roll and get a different hack. Ion took the power out and it rushed to replace the battery ba power. So it was, another, it was another Ion battery, backup battery thing. I guess it was, yeah, it was probably backup battery, and it powered my cloaking or hacking or something. Must have been that, and I wasn't paying attention. All right, um, okay, can't get anything with 27 scrap. Phase two, we have boarding drone, anti-personnel drone, whatever it's called. Let's do this. We have these three guys to deal with that. Okay. Change weapons, good reminder, yes. Because now we just want the fight to go as quickly as possible. We want to have one more power. I will leave up the, the drone for potentially killing the boarding drone. This is one of the best situations to try for DD1 against hack because you have cloaking for the missiles. Flagship has eight drone parts and the first missile volley can draw the DD1. One of the best situations to try for DD1 against hack because you have cloaking for the missiles. Flagship has eight drone parts and the first missile volley. So you think it might be worth actually letting it shoot the hacking drone. That's fine. I just, I've had... I keep going back and forth on that, and I've just settled on not on not stressing about it because on no pause I'd rather focus on focus my micro and brain power on other things. Oh crap, I just realized I can't take power out of there. I messed that up. Oh frick, it got through anyway. Jesus. I just totally screwed that up. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. We got level 3 cloaking. I kind of just horribly screwed that up right there. Uh, I don't think I got the perfect swipe. I also, I have whole laser. I could be shooting empty rooms on a whole laser too. Okay, I don't want to move my crew and mess up my power, so I'm just gonna... 
There it was. That was the swipe right there. Alright, I kind of screwed that up. Because Zoltan... I don't know why I put a Zoltan in hacking. Actually, yes, I do. I put him there so that I was planning on using him against the boarding drone. That actually messed up. I don't know how my... How did my hacking drone get through when I didn't depower hacking? <laughs> did his defense drone just stupidly fail and miss? Hey, Godly Cookie, thank you for the prime sub. Appreciate that. Welcome to the randoms. YouTube army, let's go. That's right. Welcome from the YouTubes. All right, 48 scrap. Um... Max clone bay. I don't have the mind control counter, so you go hang out no two. I'm gonna have this guy move to clone bay, and then we're gonna go kill whoever gets mind control unless it's in a system we don't care about. Yeah, it must have his his defense drone must have missed. Alternatively, the Carl drone. Carl had gone over to the side of the Federation, decided to sabotage. Yeah. Carl infiltrated. Infiltrated. I can't, I, well, I can't say that word. Right, here we go. Um, let me go over what we're doing here. We'll deal with whoever's mind controlled. We auto fire our weapons at the Zoltan Shield. He should have nobody to board us. Dot, dot, dot. Profit, hopefully. Okay. Let's follow him. We have enough drone parts. It's Envoy, okay. Oh, uh, wow, that actually kind of sucks. Envoy is max train fighting. Well, that sucks. That is troll. Oh, that was very bad dot. What? Oh, I never fucking moved my pilot back. What the hell's wrong with me? Oh, not doing this well. Shield still. Uh, I'm not doing this fight well at all. The mind control is screwing me all over the place. All right, we got there. Wow, that's one of the least clean boss fights I've had in a while. I never hit enter to move my pilot back. I don't know why I thought my rock and clone bay was my extra crew there. Jesus. Phew. Uh, mind control level 3 mantises. Uh, oh yeah. The second mind control. Alright, let's check that score. 5440. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. The run up to the boss was smooth. Phase one and two was really smooth. Phase three. I'll tell you right there. That is why I never prefer drone control over mind control. Phase three is terrifying without mind control. But uh, mistake. Thank you for the 300 bits. Appreciate that. That is 11 in a row, my friends. That is... You know what? That is actually... That is my second best streak ever now. Second best streak ever. Even without playing perfectly. You'll get the win. Great to have a streak we have. NGB, Stealthy, and Fetzy out of the way. Yeah. All right. So, what I can learn from that run, at least on the boss fight, is... Phase three, um, dealing with the mind control without mind control is still something I need some practice and to improve on. Um, my whole beam swipes are still not great. I need to remember to use whole laser on empty rooms. I'm so used to like breaching shields and stuff that after I take out the shields, I need to start hitting empty rooms. 
So uh, we're good though. That my, my friends, that is gonna be the only FTL run today, as uh, it's Friday. So I'm gonna play something that's hopefully less stressful. So if y'all want to hang out for some Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, that's what we're gonna do for the rest of the stream. But I hope y'all enjoy it. That was almost a three-hour run. We're taking longer on our runs to make sure we can do our best to get our wins. So if you're not gonna hang out, I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. I'm gonna use the restroom, stand up stretch, and when we come back. We're going to be a Jedi with my Jedi robes. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you all in just a bit, my friends. Y'all rock.